Hello everyone, welcome, and I hope you are all as excited as I am to be talking about the brand new Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I was lucky enough to see this film just slightly before everyone else, and I can say now, my god, that was full of surprises, and one of those surprises, as we sort of expect from Marvel by now, came in the mid credit scene. So of course, as we can guess from the title, the film is very much focused around the concept of the multiverse and actually telling us more about it. We get to learn a lot more about what the multiverse is going to look like in the MCU, and that is thanks to the bold introduction of America Chavez. Using her character, we're able to get a glimpse into a few of the different universes that exist, a few of the 73, I think she said, uh, that she has been through. I mean, there's even one where you just become paint, uh, which was, it was a creative decision. I mean, there's a lot of weird universes out there, but the point is that now, because of her character, we are actually able to transverse through these universes, which is not something we've actually really been able to do before. The concept of the multiverse has been more abstract before this film, and that's why it's so exciting. That's why everyone is talking about the possibilities that this opens up for with the next phase of the Marvel movies, not just in terms of the places and the people that we'll see, obviously the people being a very important one because, you know, we saw some very interesting cameos in this film existing in different universes, but also potential for villains. I mean, we're talking interdimensional baddies here, uh, which could become a very big problem. And that, on that note, actually avert uh, problems. Uh, we were introduced to the concept of incursions. Now, incursions, as we learned in the film, are what happens when two universes sort of collide, a bit like tectonic plates you learn about in school, uh, but much, much worse and on a universal scale. So when the two universes collide, there is potential for one of them to survive by completely destroying the other one, or there is the potential that both of them will just die. The both of them, nobody comes out of this okay. It's all over for everyone in both universes. So this is where we actually sort of come to this mid credit scene, where Strange is kind of forced to look at the consequences of his own multiversal hopping actions, when as he's walking down the street, the beautiful Charlize Theron appears out of nowhere and slices a big old hole in reality, opening it to another dimension. So who is this beautiful blonde reality slashing goddess? Well, first of all, I probably shouldn't call her a goddess as that's quite misleading, um, but she is very impressive and beautiful nonetheless. We have to stand. And this is actually the character of Clea who appears in the comics. And incidentally, well, not incidentally, it will be entirely intentional as are most things in the MCU. You, she is related to the villain from the first Doctor Strange movie, Dormammu, which always sounds wrong to say. I, no matter how right I think I'm saying it, I still feel wrong. So Clea's deal is that she is a sorceress, and in the comics, from what we can see, it's fair to say that she could actually be a more powerful sorceress than Doctor Strange, which is saying something, because obviously Doctor Strange is pretty high up in the scale of things. So like I said, she is of course related to the villain from the first movie, and having said how powerful she is and seeing how much respect she instantly commands on first appearing on screen, this could bode well or very, very, very badly. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with power. With great power comes great responsibility. And when you've got a familial history of being villains who dominate a realm that is essentially hell, you can't blame people for being suspicious. So, I mean, we say a lot of sort of opportunities being opened up in the MCU here, and one of them is that uh, Clea, who we've only just met, could end up being a very, very bad thing for our beloved characters, for our beloved universes, but we are getting ahead of ourselves, so let's wind it back a little. What you will see is that she slashes a hole in reality and sort of opens it up to another dimension. That dimension that we see is kind of like dark, very brooding color palette. It doesn't look particularly friendly. I mean, especially when we see Strange and America blast through, I don't know how many dimensions it was when they did their little falling stunt. I mean, we saw stuff like, oh, nice paint colors. There was lots of nice plants. At one point there was dinosaurs. At one point they were getting chopped into little cubes of meat. None of them looked quite as foreboding as this one that we now see opening up in the middle of the street. Now, the reason this looks so particularly foreboding and horrible is because this is supposedly the dark dimension, otherwise known as the hell dimension or just hell. Now, it's not what I 
pictured hell as being. I was seeing sort of more fire and more little like people with pitchforks stabbing people, but this, this is more spacey than I was thinking. But you know, creative license. We have to love a different interpretation. Um, I'm just, I'm kidding. Obviously this is gonna be very different uh, because this is not biblical hell. This is MCU hell or more specifically Marvel Comics hell. Now in the comics, this particular realm is a semi-infinite realm contained within it we have other universes that have been conquered by previously mentioned villain Dormammu and she is the one that rules over this whole place. Now why we're going into this particular one we're not entirely sure because the thing that is introduced to Doctor Strange is the idea that he's created some incursions that he needs to fix. Um, so why are they going into hell? So in summary, at this point, what we've sort of got in this mid credit scene is a new character, a new dimension, otherwise known as Hell, and the chance for Doctor Strange to enter into this new dimension with this new character, who we know is related to a previous villain who's also thought to be ruling over this hellish dark dimension, which contains all of the other dimensions that she's conquered. Great. So the big question we're left with really is what comes next? What are we going to be seeing from the introduction of this new character, this particular new universe, and of course all the other universes that we saw, got introduced to during the movie and the concept of incursions? How big of a role is all of this going to play going forward into the next phase? So in reference to Clea, the character in particular, there are a few people speculating that she could could be being introduced because in the long run she's planned to be the replacement for Doctor Strange as Benedict Cumberbatch moves on to do other things, leaves the movies, can't be a part of it anymore. In the comics she does take over and become Sorcerer Supreme after Strange's death. As things are now it also wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world to think that maybe this incredibly powerful sorceress can take up the mantle of this kind of whole persona, all these responsibilities that Doctor Strange has been set up for in these films, especially when you consider that our beloved Jane Foster has gone and picked up Thor's hammer. We haven't got that movie yet, but God, that's going to be a big one. I mean, have you seen her in those trailers? The, the guns on that, she looks amazing, but that's beside the point. The point that I'm making with this comparison is that previously we would have thought that's crazy. There's no way they'd be scrapping a pretty big character like Doctor Strange. Scrapping's too harsh. Replacing, gently replacing a big character like Doctor Strange, or in this case, Thor, with, I don't know, a female counterpart. And a lot of people will be particularly angry at that suggestion. We all know why, but I mean, aside from the reason we all know, it is quite a big move. And so this is absolutely by no means set in stone, but this is an idea that lots of people are entertaining, that it is being set up slowly, carefully, surely, so that when Benedict Cumberbatch decides he's had enough of the MCU, there's someone to step in and take his place. Now, there is the possibility for a very strong partnership between the two instead. Now, in the comics, their relationship runs deep, to say the least. In fact, at one point the pair actually get married. I mean, we're not talking a little nice ring and throwing the bouquet in a wedding ceremony. They get sorcery married, which is a lot deeper. We're talking the binding of souls. Unfortunately, like 50% of marriages, they do end in a sorcery divorce, which hits pretty hard, I'd say, having your souls ripped apart. But let's not get ahead of ourselves there. The fact is that there is a possibility that Clea could be a new romantic interest, which introduces sort of this concept of Strange finally coming to terms with the fact that him and Christine aren't gonna happen. We saw throughout the film that it's kind of the case that him and Christine aren't destined to be together in pretty much any universe. There is always something between them. There's always something meaning that the two of them simply cannot be together. Whether that's because one Strange picks up the dark hole and goes wild and starts dream walking and betrays everyone and gets executed, which was very intense, or whether it's just because work, being an Avenger, you know, it doesn't lend itself to healthy familial and romantic relationships. You got a lot on your plates. The two of you deserve better. And towards the end of the film, we do see him come to terms with that in that he does speak to Christine and they sort of have this very nice moment together where they realize that they do love each other. They always will, but it's not meant to be. 
Actually, even if the relationship between the two doesn't end up being any sort of romantic relationship, there is a chance that they could form a very, very strong partnership. They are both very, very powerful magic users. And going forward in this phase where it seems that the multiverse and incursions could play a giant part in the goings on, the two of them pairing together to work through this could be a really, really good thing and a very impressive duo. And finally, the implications coming from actually entering sort of the dark dimension, this hell dimension, could be really, really wide ranging. Of course, earlier we mentioned sort of by virtue of opening all these other universes, you're opening yourself up to a completely new range of villains that maybe don't exist in one, but do exist in another. Villains crossing over from one to another. Also, entering the hell dimension doesn't sound promising for it being full of friendly, nice locals. Aside from just clean-cut villain characters, there's also concepts that can be introduced by having this dark dimension, this hell dimension, introduced into the MCU. They can do a lot with it. There's a lot that exists within that can be used for really interesting plot points, really good explorations of characters, seeing how far we can push Strange with this new sorceress by his side. Of course, this is all speculation as it stands. Nobody stood there and got out a little sign that said, this is the dark dimension, I'm clear, and I'm here to ruin everything. So please, actually, in the comments down below let us know what you think all of this means what do you think is going to be done with this character of clear what do you think is going to be done with the problem of incursions with this new universe or new access to a universe let us know in the comments down below and if you want to see any more doctor strange content we've got a no spoiler review out on the website lots of other stuff in progress so please check out whatculture.com and on that note I'm off to go and look at uh, more research about Doctor Strange because, God, there is a lot to read up on. I'll see you next time.